Okay, Cleveland High School. Cleveland High School is a reflection of the society in large. So the things that are prohibited are, you know, common sense things, things that would be prohibited, you know, by the state of California and the legal system. Now, now, since we're at a high school and everybody's a minor and all that, there's certain other things that are prohibited through district policy, yeah. okay, such as... Uh, no iPods. West Asia, North Africa, and Southeastern Europe. Alex! Hey! Alex! Alex! Bring me that here, please. No cell phones, please. Do that outside of the campus. Don't talk on the phone. Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? That's not funny. Listen to this. Knock, knock. Suspense. Well, for test situation, I think it's a valid consideration to uh, limit cell phone use, but uh, uh, on their own time kind of thing, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with people having access to cell phones. The cell phone use, uh -huh. um, kids text messaging in class, um, using their iPods. For some reason, they think that teachers are blind and they can't see the little earpiece and the texting under the desks. Come to school, don't be tardy, absent. Learn, come to class, don't be tardy or absent. All right, now class, remember, those papers on the bills and anti-disestablishmentarianism are due on the Monday that we come back from winter break. All right? <laughs> you can go. Daniel? Here. Thank you. Kevin? Here. Mm hmm Jasper? Here. Mm-hmm. Sandeep? Sandeep? <sighs> Daniel? Here. Mm hmm Kevin? Here. Thank you. Jasper? Here. Mm hmm Sandeep? 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 All right. Daniel? Here. Mm, Kevin? Here. Jasper? Here. Sandy? Sandy? Sexy. Whoa, what's that? That is a stack. Four. You. Are you sure? Uh-huh. <laughs> Do tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I think that um, our attendance policy needs should be enforced, and I think there should be more severe consequences mm -hmm. um, for children, for kids who are out you know, a certain amount of days. I think a teacher should be allowed to fail the student um, after so many absences. I don't think that students should be allowed to make up the work. No cheating. You will get caught cheating in class. Do not cheat.
cheating is bad, it's immoral, it's unethical. And remember, here at Cleveland, character counts. And so do the test scores. Do not steal something that's not yours, okay? Please, it's not yours. Don't steal it. Well, someone steals something, again, there's two things that are happening there. Uh, there's the school, school would deal with it, we'd have to suspend them. Well, like, how many parent. cases have you had? Oh, how many cases? Yeah. I don't know, I'd have to look it up. You know, I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of stealing in the school. So you think that's like the biggest thing, stealing? Yeah, I think that. I think Keep our beautiful school clean. Don't litter or throw your little Pop-Tart things on the floor. Please, don't tag on the school campus. It's not yours. Look. Talk to them more about the environment and you know, making sure that they, they do their part. And, uh, um, well, there, some teachers do their part with the recycling programs, which that kind of helps. But besides that, I, I don't know. I don't think they're enforcing it uh, the right way. When there's a trash can uh, next to a lunch table or a, a bench, you know, where they're watching, you know, the baseball games and all that, and they just leave their stuff on the floor or on the bench. Uh, when, when they could just simply get up and put it inside the container themselves. It brings down the value of the uh, community here. Uh -huh. So if the students could just keep that graffiti stuff to, you know, put it on a notebook or something, you know, but don't display it out on the walls and trash cans. And right. It just brings, uh, brings uh, out a bad atmosphere mm -hmm. uh, from the individual. Oh! Don't fight, man. Come on now. Brotherly love, peace. Let's keep it together. Army. My dad, I'm going home. You want to eat this? fight somebody then uh, we have what's called peer mediation. You're going to have to sit down and talk to that person and sign a contract about why you got in the fight to begin with. And then you probably have to sit down and eat lunch with them too. Cavs can't do that. Not in my house. <laughs>